Hi everybody, Estranaro here. I'm going to show you how to make one of my all-time favourite dishes, spaghetti bolognese. You don't need a lot of ingredients for this, it's full of flavour and it's super easy to make. It's all about that long cooking process. And if you're struggling for any ideas to cook for Valentine's Day, this is your winning dish. Here we go. Okay, here we go. One onion, one celery, one carrot. Cut this into big chunks. If you've got a food processor, stick it in there. If not, just cut this into small, thinly cut pieces. From there, on a medium heat, add 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and cook off your vegetables. Cook that until softened and then you're going to add 2 garlic cloves. Either put this through a garlic press or just cut this into small pieces. From there, you're going to add 500 grams of lean beef mince, that's what I'm using, or you can just use ordinary beef mince. And season that with some salt and pepper. Break that up and then cook that mince until brown. Next, you're gonna add one bay leaf, one carton of passata, 100 mils of beef stock, and 50 to 80 mils of red wine. You're gonna bring that to a simmer and you're gonna add one teaspoon of sugar. From there, I want you to cook this for two to three hours on a really low heat, stirring after every 30 minutes. This is when your flavour is going to really intensify and that dish is going to come alive. By now your bolognese sauce should be reduced. Add a decent amount of salt to your pan with some water. This should be tasting like the sea. And cook off your spaghetti into al dente. From there, remember to remove your bay leaves. In a new pan, you're going to add your bolognese sauce to that and you're going to wrap up some fresh basil leaves which is going to give us some more flavour. If you don't use all your bolognese sauce, remember you can freeze that and you can use that for another time. While you're cooking your bolognese sauce on a medium heat in the new pan, you're going to add 15 to 20 grams of butter. And you're going to scoop out your pasta into your bolognese sauce. Get some of that salted water in there as well and give that a good mix through. Your last step, let's finish that off with some grated parmesan cheese. You can't go wrong with that. And there you have it. That's my take on spaghetti bolognese. I hope you enjoy that.